What's the crack lads and ladies? Welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail video. I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. I am excited to dive deeper into this game. And today's episode, I visit that word I love to say so much, Bellabog, for the very first time. So I get to see some brand new characters and we get into some interesting boss fights on the way as well. As the story takes an already interesting twist and I'm excited to see where it's going to go from here. So leave a like on this video if you enjoy the content and make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss a single episode of Honkai Star Rail. Enjoy today's episode. Attack! <laughs> Punched it in the face. How's this taste? Here's a fizzy better. drink. Uh, I like that confidence. Let's make it quick. Step up. This ends here. Dead. Easy. What a strange object. It seems really out of place in the snow plains. Maybe Mr. Yang will know what this is. Let's send a message and ask him. Oh, what is this, Mr. Yang? It is a calyx, a strange entity born from the phenomenon of space distortion. There are some really da- uh, there's some reality to- Too much information, Welt! Defeat enemies to obtain general materials. What's this now? Okay. Has been archived. Okay. These game modes cost Trailblaze power to play. What is this? Current team is underpowered. Oh, no, I, I better not then. I'll come back when I'm stronger. But right now, I'm not very strong. Did you see that? I think something's moving. <laughs> hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Who is it? Holding your breath won't help. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. You're out! Just punch him or kick him or something? My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. Oh, this is the guy from the trailers that likes hiding in things. Don't look at me. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Who are you calling friends now? Is Captain Jappard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? He's on my team. Wait. I think. You're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. And I'm Chickens Sambo. Chickens Sambo. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but... Fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. I... The front line? Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again... I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a silver main guard. Is there settlement nearby? Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. We're gonna go to Bellabog, lads. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. I have no idea who these Silvermane guards even are. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. 
And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost... But it would be my pleasure. The Kindness dirty look. Is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silver Mane guards? Go back here, scum, yeah, criminal we're just scum. storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called Invisible snow walking helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Oops. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. <laughs> it's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. Oh, shit. We're going to beat them up? Yeah, we're going to beat them up. All right. I'll beat you up. Take this. Over to you, dear friend. Oh, I've got his ultimate. Where do you think you're? Defend! Activate! Never falter! Huge, massive wall! Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. That's all you got? Time to mix things up. Busy drink? This ends here. Ah, like that confidence. Oh, I have his ultimate. I don't think I've used this yet, have I? The measure of truth and falsehood. Let's go. Step up, let's see ya. How's this taste? Like a good, my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Your answers? Just. That's all you got? Rules are made to be broken. SAS per kip. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. So cool. It's over. <laughs> well, look at this. He turned on my team. Oh, shit. Yo. <laughs> this is interesting. What? I I'm fighting myself. Captain oh, of the Silver Maid Guard. Shit. Boss fight. Boss fight. I'll beat you up. I'm kicking my own ass. Resistance. No. Stay focused. For glory. <laughs> shit. No. Zero points. That's all you got? Time to mix things up. Nice, like a good, my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Is that all? In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! It ain't over. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Your answers? Answer me. SAS knowledge, the measure of Damn, truth. Dr. Ratio is awesome, dude. 
He's so That's powerful. Got. Zero points. Hope you're prepared. Mediocre. Just failed. No! I'm still needed. Wait, what? How am I alive still? How's this take? You have my gratitude. Is that all? This ends here. Zero points. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. No! The confidence. Son of a. It's all up to Doctor Racio, man. Questions. Zero points. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Let's freaking go, man. Shit. Shit. Stop. In the Stop! name of preservation, I do it all Flesh. again. I got destroyed. I need to level up. Okay. I need to. I, I, you need to teach me. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, level up. Okay. Oh shit, he's level 11 now? How the hell did I get to that level so fast? Oh. Oh man. Can I give Dr. Racer some more levels? I can. Whoa, I'm so strong. What is all this? Help! Chat, help! I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> Purple ones. Purple ones are good, yeah? We got these ones then. What about traces? Attack boost. Okay, let's switch to him. Let's go to light cones here. Right, what's good for him? That's locked, apparently. Careful. Don't get too lost in those sweet dreams. Sweet. Can I equip these? Why is there a little locked symbol? Oh, this because oh, passive destruction. They're locked because they're four stars and more rare. It's so you don't use them accidentally. Oh. We mustn't cling to the past. Cool. The target enemy current HP percentage. Okay. We mustn't cling to the past. Oh. How am I able to activate all these? We mustn't cling to the past. Whoa, I've activated three of them. I think I've done what I needed to do now with the characters, right? I should whoop his ass now, right? <laughs> Look it up. Look at him! What a beast! You're about to get absolutely obliterated. Are you ready? Let's start things off with Dr. Ratio. Rules are made to be broken. You got to your welcome! Fail. Get out. Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. Slice like a good brew, my friends. Indulge yourself. Fail. Get out. That's what I'm talking about. This ends here! No. No! Woof! Oh! And the prime suspect? <laughs> the one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. We're not his accomplices. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the Architects. Not now. Come on! But we're not from 
Bellabog. Take a look at our clothes. Do they look like Bellabogian clothes? Silence. What kind of nonsense are you? You say the same thing about that thing on your head. As you were. We must not be tempted into careless judgment. Look at their attire. Indeed, it is not in the Bellabog style. Exactly! Uh, and we even have photos! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6! March 7 shows Jepperd a picture of the ice covered uh, planet. You mean to say that this white ball that's here? <laughs> that's our home? How can that. Wait, do you not have space travel here? Hmm. We're aliens, technically, then? It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. So we're aliens! But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Should we follow him? I don't know. He seems this us. Hmm. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. Oh, there it is. Whoa! Dude, look at it! It's a big wall, it's like Attack on Titan! Hey, it feels like it got a bit warmer. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Nice. Last bastion? 700 years ago. Monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city, under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He's sure saying some weird stuff. Marked change in tone. It sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? He wanted to know. Uh <laughs> I have a pain in my head. Dude, is this whole place explorable? It's huge! This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the architects. Klep Klepoth Fort? What is that? Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. Under Klepoth's impulsion, the architects constructed Bellabog, thus protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Eon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Uh... Uh, can I tag along? Let's not waste time. No one will notice. Easy for you to say. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madame Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. We're gonna go see Kokolia. meaningless sacrifice. How can you... 
You may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. Oh, that's Kokolia. Mother too? Yes, mother. She said it. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. You may leave. Welcome, Jepard. Visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky. No? Aliens. I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. So you don't doubt our identity. Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself. <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. What's that supposed to mean? The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. Oh. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. We want to help you? We've come to trailblaze this planet! Uh, do you think anyone's gonna know what you're talking about? I don't know. I mean, she knew, she, she knew we were aliens. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. Stellaron. A Stellaron. Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. The Stellarons were cast by the Aeon of Destruction. Which is why the Antimatter Legion and Stellarons often show up together. Worlds seeded with Stellarons give birth to Fragmentums. As for the Eternal Freeze, it must have been a product of the Stellaron, unique to the environment of your world. You can see us as kind-hearted interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Please help us locate the Stellaron. That will be great. If we can get rid of it, your world will be safer too. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. We sure do. We're aliens, remember? Very well. I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. <sighs> it's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Thank you, Supreme Guardian. <sighs> it should be me thanking you. Visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. 
I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Off we go then. What was that sound? Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. Dun, dun, dun! What's going on? She, oh, she's it off seems something. that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. She's, um... She's... Impressive. She's the big shot. Definitely got that Queen of the Castle vibe going on. Oh, so cool. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Belabov. Uh, wait. Can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. Okay. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Whoa! Everwinter Night. Visit an Everwinter Workshop. See what's around the Goth Hotel. Visit the Everwinter Monument. <gasps> So we're here in Bellabog. So, do you work here all day? What's your hours? Nine to five? Is it? I like running around. You see me running around? What's there to do at Bellabog? Can you tell me all the amenities? I want to know. What's the worst place to sleep? Just tell me what to do. Look at the cars. Have you heard of the right Look at the cars. Oh, treasure. Yes. Why is that shining? A trash can, not remarkable in any way. We've been staring at it for a while, but it's just an ordinary trash can. Oh, uh, what do you want to do? You try to hold back the urge to open it. As you continue staring at the trash cans, they seem to turn before your very eyes. The edges are no longer rusty, and the dents are smoothed as over. From under the lid comes a faint golden glow, sweet and alluring. For a moment, the trash cans turn into treasure chests. And it's happening again. You take a deep breath and open the lid. It's empty. Wait, you reach a deeper into the trash can. There's a piece of iron scrap at the bottom. Your hard work paid off. You finally found the treasure. You look back at your companions and see their complicated expressions. You don't need to explain. I get it. The urge is too great for you to resist. There's no turning back. Once you've walked down this path... that Jepard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. If they hadn't identified it, I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back! This is your final warning! But... But my proof of property is inside! I don't have any... The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane Guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum Corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. This world really is in dire straits. It sure is. But at least we're here. Once we seal the Stellaron, they can get back to the good life. 
please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass! <sighs> please keep a safe distance. This is a live situation. Plus, we need to look busy. We need to look busy. <laughs> I see. It's cool that there's little, like, tram as well. <gasps> it's a little trash can. You find a wrinkled handwritten flyer in a trash can. Written on the top is a beautiful handwriting you see. The Rightful Right Society. The content seems to be trying to convince people who have given up on interests and hobbies due to family and other responsibilities to join this strange organization. Members of the organization cover one another and help each other get away from family or work on weekends and even weekdays. In the pursuit of individual freedom, they call it upholding our rightful rights. What a strange arrangement. Actually, I'm a little tempted. Sometimes I wish I could spend a day doing whatever I want. By which you mean spend a day asleep in your cabin? Treasure! Never winter workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Because it's cold? Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? Is this how they repel the Eternal Freeze? If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. My god, it's a distinctively dressed woman! Oh wow, she's cool! I, uh, I, uh, I, 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 the name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. Alright, Serval. Distinctively dressed Serval. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though, I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Oh, we only just got here. Everything's new to us, to be we fair. We just got here? Yeah, we're from outer space. Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? That's us. What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. Isn't she the one like with the guitar? A little girl's a ghost. Oh, this is just really cool. This, this, you got the whole like gears in the wall thing going and the lighting and very steampunk. I like it. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. What is Geomaro? It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomaro. Geomaro grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Above and beneath the surface? You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. Why is the heater outside? Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. 
When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Ah. Oh. Thanks for your no answers. Sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Sure, it's not like we're doing anything. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Oh, it's one of them. This this camera. Oh, mini games. Magner. <laughs> Magnetor heliological fluid threshold. This is the source of what the electric current flows. Okay, there's something like this in the Spider-Man games. Okay, so we're gonna rotate this one. That was easy. So that's how it works. <laughs> nice. You guys are pretty handy. You picked that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Yeah, I'll work for you. <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? Uh, no. N not all the time. <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. You're beginning to sound low. It sounds like pom-pom now, so yeah. We're gonna go and look around and see if there's anything we can rob. I mean, borrow. Oh, it's a song. This is just a decoration. Oh. It's kind of pointless. <gasps> trash can! Someone threw a book into the trash can. You pick it up. It seems to be a lengthy serial novel by the name of Tale of the Winterlands. You seem to have the incomplete fourth volume in your hands. We can actually get things out of these trash cans? The opening of the post box reveals two envelopes that are being kept in delicate balance. Touching either will one will condemn the other to be swallowed by the pitch black maw. Such a dilemma falls in front of you. Push them all in! You reach your hand out and gently touch them. You aren't sure where your hand skims, but the balance of the two envelopes is instantly broken. It's incredible how good it feels to do something good. Praise of high morals. Thumbs up approvals aren't a rare sight to behold. What matters is that you are recognized. Yes, you hear? Leave a like on the video if you're watching this on YouTube. Wow, what a beautiful lobby. It's gonna be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Wanna have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> no thanks. March. Earlier in Klipoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. Ah, uh, so far. That's not what I was going to say. All right, spit it out then. Earlier in Klipoth Fort, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Kokolia, mother too? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. So, did you notice anything? Nope, she seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. How would you notice that? Would you be able to notice that? Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary. It must have been the invisible man. <laughs> it must have been a guard. You guys are overthinking things. I would say invisible man. Well, there's no way he'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I 
Just hope she keeps her word. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Sure. <laughs> Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. That's enough fun for today. Time to rest. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. <sighs> Didn't someone mention a pillow fight? Yeah, about time. I thought you said you were tired. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Done. They're so boring, bro. Gagolia. Who are you? What are you? What? We are allies. Allies of the Guardians of Generations. What do you want? To Hello? Without doubt, what's in front of you is a closet. It is based on all the signals coming in from your sensory organs. A perfect closet. Design, capacity, tactility, build, quality, and scent. No matter how you look at it, you can't possibly think of a better closet. Wait a minute, scent? How is scent a measurement of how good a closet is? Doesn't matter, it smells good. And it's not an odor of typical sandalwood or any other natural materials. Rather, it is a miraculously cleansing scent that is completely artificial. A marvel of chemical engineering. It is so alluring that all you want is to get into the closet and let your whole body soak its scent! Whatever, I'm going in. Yes, you are about to go in. Left foot, right foot, turn around. Darn it. Why a deep breath? You want to sneeze, but manage to suppress it. Stand firm, and then... Close the door in one smooth move. Bang! Congratulations, you have now been merged with the universe's most perfect closet as one single entity. But honestly, your mood is far from reaching the state of excitement. Perhaps you need more time to comprehend the subtle wonder in all this. Hmm. This place might seem a little too dark for you. Guess you will eventually get used to it, right? Dark Knight gifted me a set of dark eyes. <gasps> That's the spirit. Give it more time. Adapt to the dark environment. <laughs> ah! Trust yourself. Just wait a little longer. Something more interesting than this pitch darkness will occur. It's guaranteed to be the real deal. Wait. Did you hear that? The sound is closing in. Click. Click. It's just someone walking in the corridor. No! The real deal is coming. That's exactly right. Just think about it. Now take a guess. Whose footsteps are those? The ghost hotel devil. Yes, yes! Now you finally get it! That's the Goat's Hotel Resident Devil. It hibernates in dirty, unattended small attics, specifically feeding on innocent and vulnerable outsiders. It picked the wrong opponent to mess with this time. After all, you are the universally renowned trailblazer, the guardian deity of the Herta Space Station, the Doomsday Beast of Doom! Yep, today is the day you purge evil for the greater good. It doesn't seem to be the dark, the dark in the closet. The light of valor illuminates your surroundings. Wow. Room service? Is anyone in there? Ha! There it is! All hotel devils love to disguise themselves as room service. Such a cliche. You won't be easily fooled by it. Your mind is stronger than those city walls built by Clypoth. <laughs> you are prepared. Um, I'm gonna come in now. Okay. Now, devil! Meet your judgment! Die, you hotel devil! Ah, what the fuck? 
<laughs> what just happened? <laughs> The ghost hotel town is now banished, and this land is now purified. <laughs> um, what the devil seems to have left something behind? Take it as your reward, or for your intrepidity. Trepidity. Praise of higher morals! We did it, chat! Yeah, we did it! Did you hear that? Yes. The hotel devil. It was me punching it in the face. There's a group of silver main guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. Uh, this is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. You guys are assuming a lot. All I can see is their helmets. Uh, I just have a feeling. <laughs> Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. <laughs> this game is so random, dude. It's you. You were there at the fort. Bronya. I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord in the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. Huh? As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. So much for smooth sailing. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Donung, the alley. The one that's been sealed off. Hmm. It's possible. I just think it's funny that they have so much time to discuss a plan while standing there and the guards are staring at them. Be ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. It's now or never, damn it! Three of a kind. Uh, I guess we are a strange trio. Shh! It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? No. Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! <laughs> oh, 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 Bro, I just... I just killed a man! Have an ice day! They don't even know where that's gonna go! They charged straight in! Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> the Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Y yes, ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabox security. That is what I must do. Ha! See? They weren't brave enough to follow us! Freedom! Serves them right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. That was too risky. Oh, please, it's the result that counts. Gotta take risks sometimes if you want to succeed. This is true. Remember that. We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. <laughs> Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. Yes, I agree. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> See, I just, uh, smacked your man and saved the head. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian?
Guardians send people to arrest us! Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep! Ugh, the cheek! That woman had a troubling aura. Let's go! Got the defense? Answer me! Let's go! In the mood. <laughs> Just. Let's make it quick. Don, easy sauce. Reach the end of the story in your own way. You know these things. Can I do these off off camera? I feel like there's gonna be very little I can do off camera. Your answers. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Broom. This is our chance. Yeah. Zero points. Rules are made to be broken. <sighs> Step up, let's see ya. Time to mix things up. Much better. Nice, like a good, my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! I'm asking qu- Let's go! Yeah! In the mood, it ain't over! Hope you're prepared! Got the defense? Just Zero points! Man, Dr. Racio is awesome! This ends here. Your answer? SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Fail. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. Oh. This is our chance. Yes. Zero points. Step up. <laughs> Fail. Nice, like a good group, my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Ah, it's nothing. I'm asking. Let's make it. Step up. It ain't over. This ends here. Got the defense. Hell yeah! Ooh, fancy chest! Oh, we got some stellar jades! What's this? Oh, it unlocks the door. Cool! Shortcut! Is that all? I kind of want to do one of these things now, just to try it out. If that's okay. I want to try it out, just, just for the crack. This is our chance. Nice, like a good, my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourselves! It ain't over. This ends here. Your answers? Answer me. Let's make it quick. Step up, let's see ya. How's this take? You have my gratitude. I'm asking. This is our chance. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Time to mix things up. Much better. Your answers? Test. Fail. This is our yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was it. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any way to open this gate. Ooh, check this mechanism out. Look familiar? Yeah, we just pressed one. Yes. We saw one and we need to solve it before we run out of time. The guards are right on our heels. Oh, yeah, it's one of these things. Okay. Uh, okay. Life is just full of puzzles. 
Beller J20. I want to go this way first. There are still remain guards here. Careful not to alert them. They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. Mm, I don't see a switch for the gate. Uh, over there. There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. Use the right consumables with their different effects to help your exploration. Rattle Gauntlets can offer an attack boost for all characters. Oh shit! So we we need a line of buff for, buff for this one. Nice, like a good my friends. Indulge yourselves. Just let's make it quick. Yeah. It'll heal. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. In the mood for another beating? <laughs> Done. We caught them unawares. Sweet. Look out! Oh. Uh oh, Shit, we're surrounded. Up with us. Ethan had time to set up an ambush. Huh. You dare underestimate what? me. Uh oh. <laughs> she found us, lads. Even though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Velabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. What alleged crimes? You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Huh, what a two-faced hag! Oh shit! Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. Oh yeah! Here Your we answers. go. Answer me. Let's make it quick. Huh. Just a scratch. <laughs> in the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. <sighs> Just a scratch. Just. Let's go. Yeah. Answer me. Step up, let's see ya. This ends here. Just. Let's make it quick. Yeah. In the. Hope you're prepared. I'm asking questions. Answer me. Dawn. <sighs> Watch out! Whoa! Nice catch. Lady Bronya. You failed her. I'll handle these evildoers myself. Oh! Boss fight! Boss fight! Are you sure you want to handle us? Ow. And this. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. But us. Need I teach someone a lesson? Nice, like a good brew, my friends. Indulge yourselves! 
Zero points. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Fail. Just. Let's go. <laughs> this ends here. <laughs> In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! Back off. Your answers? Answer me. Zero points. <laughs> How's this take? Now or never. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Stop right there. Like I'm asking questions. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Time to mix things up. You have my gratitude. Is that all? Nice, like a good, my friends. <laughs> Indulge yourself! This ends here. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! SAS Pekip. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Back off. Zero points. Dawn, easy. This girl's pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung, maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength. You first. You're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. Sampo's here. He's gonna save us? <laughs> Smoke bomb! What is this? <laughs> I can't breathe! <laughs> I have one thing to say. Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. <laughs> what? I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. They will suffer. Sacrifice and die because of my order. That's different. What about the underworlders? They will lose the protection of the architects. They will see me as a tyrant. Come on, those toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? Because she's sound asleep. <laughs> Didn't you hear her sleep talking? Ah, oh, poor child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the overworld, girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze before I knew it I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from Wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratch my back. How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? I 
And another thing, where does wildfire get off? Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up, what would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? All right, I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Whoa. Natasha's clinic? How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? Yeah, me back. I pulled me back and I've got a headache. I hope you're joking. <laughs> That's either an interesting metaphor or you hit your head. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. Nice to meet you. Mother of three? Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Go for it. Why did I pass out? Sampo just told me that you lost consciousness. He didn't say why. Still, I'll wager it had something to do with him. He's always tinkering with his devices. Anyway, the opinion of the clinic is that none of you have come to harm. Okay. Where are my friends? They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the silver main guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post, and she made a run for it. Who is Sampo, anyway? Good question. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. <clears throat> In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. I can't thank you enough, Dr. Natasha. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hone. But where should I start? I got some books to collect here. I'm just stealing some things. Alright lads, that's going to be it for today's episode of Honkai Star Rail. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, if you are enjoying the content, show your support by leaving a like on this video and subscribe to their channel. Loving what we're getting in so far in this game. I'm loving the adventures of my team and all of the interesting characters we've met along the way. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome and be happy and I'll see you dudes in my next Honkai Star Rail video. See you later dudes!